Let us pray. O oh God, we bow before you, the one who is above all. You are supreme and may fall before you, awestruck at your holiness and majesty. We do not say O oh to others when we address them, and in many ways that is right, because there's none other that can compare with you. You are the living God, and we are sinners who have fallen short of your standards of purity and truth. We deserve nothing but condemnation and punishment for our sins, but we are so grateful that instead you have given us a way of escape. That way is through your own Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and is a free gift from you. There was a great cost, his death, and we do well to remember that. And so we confess our sins and praise you that his death atoned for them all. But Jesus did not stay dead. You raised him to life in a new body. And that prospect awaits us too. What a glorious gospel you've given us. And may we share it with others wherever you send us. Through your Holy Spirit, we were made new whenever we gave ourselves to you. And we thank you for how he leads us through life in this sinful world. He gives us the power to do all that is required to bring you the glory that you deserve. That is our purpose here on earth. And it even brings us pleasure when we do it. Oh, how you deserve every bit of praise that we can muster. We love singing out these songs, and we look forward to the day when we'll be together again to do it. For now, though, we have some limitations. But you still know what is going on in our hearts, and you see that they are aglow with love for you. We praise you for love. The world thinks it knows about love, but it can be so warped. In you, the one who does know about love, there is perfect balance and right motives, always. Why you should love us is a mystery. It's something to do with grace. And there again, you have that in infinite quality and quantity. Later on, we will think of your goodness. A former minister of Sandyford often said, God is good and nothing but good. How true. We look forward to hearing from your word as it is preached. And we give you thanks that you have given us the scriptures so that we can know you better. Yet another demonstration of your goodness. O oh Lord, we thank you for the series of studies that we have already had on your character. But really, it is a series that could go on forever, and we would not exhaust the themes. When we think of you, we are, as the hymn writer says, lost in wonder, love and praise. So, Lord, please be with us as we continue with our service of worship. Bless us as we sing and listen, and may we all get closer to you tonight than ever before. Maybe for somebody this will be the night when they find new life through Jesus. For others, it might be an affirmation of what started many years ago. Anyway, either way, to you be the glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. We continue to worship God in our next song. <laughs> 